Welcome, Aquarians. This is your business, money, and career reading for the year um, 2022. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. All right. So we see um, a transition is going to be coming in. The blocks that some of you were having in having a job um, is going to be over because the tower moment is in a reverse. So it's as if a lot of you Aquarians were blocked in receiving some sort of a job. Um, this is going to be over. People are now going to be recognizing you're going to be standing your grounds in this year. This year is going to be a powerful year moving forward and this is going to be good. So I want to say um, to you Aquarians, welcome, welcome to this new year. Let's break down the months and see what is coming up. The most important thing is that uh, um, there are major issues and in your diamond shape, because this is uh, um, the money reading in your diamond shape, uh, the blockages that was going on, the financial hardship that you were going through is now going to be over. And I see a lot of you are going to be um, working or collaborating with a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person. This person is going to help you, Aquarian, to move some sort of a blockages out of your way. Because a lot of you Aquarians were block, um, were block moving forward. And this person is going to be releasing all of the blocks. So this could be a supervisor. It could be a businesswoman who is going to be helping a lot of you to remove box that was going on and to balance out um, a situation. And this is going to be good for you. OK, so um, what we're seeing here, we're going to be looking at January, February, March. In January, you're having some sort of a, a communication with your boss. Um, this is coming up and your boss is not in a very positive position. Whoever this Aries the or Sagittarian is, they're now recognizing um, that your boss have done something that was not above water. So this person is going to be leaving the company. OK, it has something to do with a whole lot of money and they're now recognizing and seeing what was happening and transpiring. And now what you recognize is that uh, your boss is in the reverse position, which is not very good for this person. Um, whoever this person is, is in some sort of a problem. You're dealing with a fire sign. Um, this is a fire energy that is going to be coming up. In the month of February, you're dealing with another person. This is also a fire sign. This is the princess of one. Whatever a problematic situation is, people are now recognizing um, that this young lady had collaborated and did something that was not above water. Um, and uh, um, it's as if... Uh, um, this person was the one who brought this person in a corporation institution. And now I see transition is coming up for this person. Um, they are going to be ending some sort of a, a collaboration with this person. This person, they're now recognizing what was going on. Managers is recognizing that this person has something to do with you. Aquarians not moving forward. Then when we look at the month of March, the month of March is transition. This transition is that blocks is going to be lifted. It's as if some of you were blocked from getting a, a job, a career, um, going back to work, uh, getting moving up the ladder because of uh, two persons that was blocking you. You're going to be finding out that it has to do with an Aries, a Sagittarian man or your boss and a young um uh, a young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn, a young Aries Leo Sagittarius in person. And I see in the month of March transition is going to be coming up. So you're going to be freed from these people and these situation because now people are now recognizing what is coming up. So the first three months is going to be very heavy. It's a water energy, but I see you Aquarians are going to be moving through it. You're going to be creating some sort of a transition, moving people out of a and moving yourself out of the situation, you could be changing departments and that sort of a thing. And you could be going to a new department in the month of March um, where you're going to be recognizing that these two people were the people that was blocking you Aquarians from moving forward. This person is between the age of 18 and 45. And this person is an older person and they're now going to be seeing what these people were doing and the transition of how these people 
could have collaborated and was holding you Aquarians back. So um, if, if this is like a scorpion and a cancer. Um, an end could be coming up for a scorpion and a cancer. A scorpion and a cancer could be working with these people to create this transition in your life, okay? As we move to the next three months, in the month of April, you could be re um, regaining a whole lot of money in the month of April, so this is going to be good. Um, some of you big bonus could be paid out to share. All this could be paid out. They're now going to be um, working to resolve a um, situation because they recognize uh, um, that this woman, uh, together with uh, her boss, could have collaborated uh, and accumulated a whole lot of money that was not theirs. And you, Aquarians, is going to be showing up these two people as to what they have done. So your money sits in the month of April, and this is looking good. It's just a whole lot of money that could be coming back. You could have sued your boss uh, and is receiving a whole lot of money back, and this is looking good, okay? In the month of May, you have the energy of the Hierophant, and the energy from the Hierophant is a corporation is going to be asking you guys to come in on a board. Your boss could be putting you up for promotion. That sort of a thing is coming in. This is an earth energy, so a lot of you could be getting promotion, and this could be management promotion because they're not going to be recognizing um, that, uh, um, you know, you deserve this promotion. You have been working in a department or... Um, uh, in the organization for quite some time and management is going to start looking at you and recognizing that yes you have the right uh, um, to move up the ladder so I see a lot of you could be having a lot of shareholders meeting that sort of a thing um, meeting with the boss supervisor that sort of a thing and this is going to be good as we look at the month of June a transition is coming in and I see a older lady could be going on pension and this older lady is going to be making way for you Aquarians to step up the ladder. And this is good. I see this older lady is speaking to people in authority, managers, and is advising that you have the potential to um, move up the ladder. And this is good because this person is speaking to people in authority. And because of that... Uh, um, it's, it's as if this person is really leaving, going on pension. She's not being fired or anything because the tower moment is in the reverse. She is moving maybe to another corporation, another department, but she's speaking to manager in order to push you Aquarian up the ladders because um, she knows that you have the potential to do the work. So this three quarters is about the Ten of Pentacles. This is good. A Virgo could be leaving. They could be recognizing what a Virgo have done. A Virgo is going to be leaving. And by a Virgo leaving, you guys are going to be receiving um, the positive move um, up the career ladder. And this is good. Um, they're now recognizing um, a situation where a Virgo was connected in a lot of um that a virgo could have uh, took a lot of money and uh, a lot of you if you're an auditor or an accountant you're going to be recognizing that a virgo have took a lot of money from a corporation institution and you're going to be it's as if uh, you're auditing and you're recognizing or you're investigating a situation and recognize that a virgo um, took a whole lot of money from a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn organization institution because the Ten of Pentacles is a whole lot of wealth, but it is Mercury in Virgo, and they're now recognizing that a Virgo, this Virgo could have been your boss or this Virgo and your boss together with a young Aries or Sagittarius person have accumulated a lot of wealth on the false pretend. And I see a huge corporation is now looking at the situation and is now recognizing what was going on. So um, they are now getting to the bottom of a situation and is now recognizing what was going on. OK, so the first six months is about uh, um, regaining a lot of money for some of you or a lot of you are going to be giving up a Virgo for something what they have done. And how a whole lot of money was missing from a older woman corporation. And they're now going to be recognizing that this young woman who is an Aries Leo Sagittarian has took a lot of money 
um, from a holder woman corporation. So you could be an auditing a corporation, um, a company, and is now going to be recognizing that. Okay, so transition is going to be coming up, and what is transpiring here is that this woman is going to be because you found out what has happened to this lady. I see that this lady is going to is going to be the one who is going to be opening up doors of opportunities for you, Aquarians. Okay, all right. So let's look at July, August, and September. In the month of July, some sort of a network um, that was there is no longer there. And I see an older person is going to be bringing down some sort of a network. They now recognize that there was some network that was there that people were profiting um, from a lot of business from the company or um, a lot of a group of people were just profiting from other people, ideas, intuition, and that sort of a thing. And they're not going to be seeing what was happening. So um, this network that people had up is now going to be over. Because people are now going to be recognized that there was a network up. And what was happening and transpiring is that this network is now down. And that is going to be releasing whatever blockages that was there. Um, this network that was... Uh, um, opening up, there's a whole lot of uh, uh, people that was blocking a lot of you, Aquarian, and this is going to be down, and you're going to be free to um, move in any direction you wanted to go in because there was some sort of a uh, group that was blocking you, Aquarian, okay? These were colleagues that was working against you. In the month of August, the energy of the devil is down, okay? So these groups of colleagues that was working against you is as if a Taurus, Virgo, a Capricorn recognized or a, a female person, a business person um, found out that there was some sort of a extortion, distortion in a corporation institution where it was um, affecting um, you Aquarians and they're now going to be bringing this down in the month of September September looks good you could be paid out bonus or if you're a salesperson uh, if you work on a, a commission and that sort of a thing it's going to be paid out in September so this looks good extra money is going to be coming in in September you're going to be happy. Um, you are going to be successfully overcoming your co-workers that was working against you. People are now putting puzzles together and now recognizing what was going on all the time and the years. Okay, so this is going to be good. So September is going to be another good month for you. So we're looking at October, November and December. October, you're dealing with being successful over some sort of a hardship. Um, so it is a problem that some sort of a transition um, could have come up in the company. Um, this could be reorganization is going to be coming up, but you are safe. You Aquarians are safe. Okay, so um, a reorganization is going to be coming up, and this is where you're going to be recognized that October, you're going to be safe. There now is getting to the bottom of some sort of a secrecy that a Taurus was creating with a Capricorn. A Taurus and a Capricorn had some sort of a secrecy. This is now out. People now recognize what this Taurus and this Capricorn could have grouped up and did something that was not above water. They're now recognizing this, okay? So um, this energy is that a lot of you could be dealing with a Taurus and exposing a Taurus for the secrecy um, what a Taurus had and that a, a Taurus had known what was going on and didn't do anything. So this is going to be coming out. Then we have in this uh, month, we have uh, in November temperance and temperance is very good because you are balancing out all the problematic situation in this corporation institution. You're getting things back to balance in the month of November. You could have changed um position and, uh, and now you're balancing out um, um, the position that you're in now and um, you know clearing the slate for a new beginning and this is going to be good so another major major month and good month is going to be November December we see the energy of the Queen of Cups and whoever this Queen of Cups is and whatever is transpiring, they're now recognizing what a cancer had done. And you're going to be now, in the month of December, recognizing that a cancer 
a, a Capricorn and a Taurus had collaborated, they were the people that was working against you guys and you're going to be um, finding this out and getting to the bottom of the situation and recognizing what was happening and transpiring. So this is a um, really, really um, good position that is transpiring. Um, this is really, really wonderful because you're going to be overcoming these people okay all right let's look at the people who you're going to be affected by so we see the energy of the Aries this Aries is a boss and people are now recognizing um, that uh, this Aries your boss has stolen a whole lot of money and people are now going to be getting to the bottom of the situation and recognizing um, that this man has took a whole lot of money and you're going to be very very surprised so in the second house the second house uh, so there is a young Aries Leo Sagittarius that was blocking you from um, getting some sort of a job promotion and moving up the ladder and this is going to be coming um, out and you're going to be finding out what this person has been doing to you so this is going to be good. Um, in the environment I see changes is going to be coming up so some of you could be changing jobs changing location changing position but the changes is going to be good because it's as if uh, the tower is coming down to remove a situation so um this changes is going to be very positive because you're going to be moving out of the energy of this young aries the or sagittarian and they're not going to be right um moving you to a better position or moving this young person away from you and this is going to be good as so we look at the fourth house the fourth house has to do with a whole lot of money that was missing and the managers are going to be recognizing that a Aries man and a young Aries Leo or Sagittarian person was the one who took a whole lot of money. I said a Virgo is going to be telling a corporation institution that an Aries man and a young um, Aries Leo or Sagittarian person was the person they both collaborated and took all this money. So that is what is a coming up so the energy of the fourth house is going to be good because someone a virgo is going to be protecting you from a situation aquarians okay then we see the energy from the fifth house and the fifth house is that managers are going to be now recognizing that you acquiring were worked against and i see truths is now going to be revealed because uh, managers are now recognizing um what was going on and that uh, um these are like shareholders top managers is recognizing that your ex boss the aries have uh, ripped the company off a lot of money okay uh in the sixth house the sixth house is that as i said a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person is going to be leaving a corporation institution and by this person leaving this corporation institution this person is going to be putting you up for promotion so this is an older person for some of you this person you could be assisting this person and because you have found out that this person have lost a lot of money this person is going to be giving a good reference to your boss and they're going to be putting you up the ladder so this is good as we look at the seven house the seven house is the house of uh, contractual agreement and i see a lot of you aquarians are going to be firing changing some sort of a contractual agreement for a group of people so you're going to be putting them on the list for reorganization okay um in the uh eight house the eight house is when um, you are going to start sending out letters, especially if your company um, uh, end of year is uh, um, August. You are going to be firing and getting uh, rid of the, the bad apple in your company. Okay, um, so you're going to be recognized that there's a group of people in your company or organization that needs to leave. So Aquarians, you're always like personal officer and you're going to be getting rid of the bad apple in the month of uh, August. In the month of September, things are going to be really, really positive. The month of September is like good business, uh, um, good situation is going to be flowing in. Money is going to be flowing in. Uh, money that was owed to, uh, to a corporation institution is going to be flowing in and you are going to be happily 
um, moving forward some of you is going to be really getting promotions because of the reorganization as we look at the 10th house the 10th house is that someone tried to ruin your reputation you successfully overcome this because an older person recognized that you Aquarians uh, have not done what they said that you have done and as a uh, uh, recognize that uh, the bad apples were blocking you from moving forward and now they are now going to be removing um, the, these bad apples are out and that's where you're successful because you are the one who has stayed behind so your reputation is going to be ill managers is going to be um, uh, supporting you so this is going to be good as we look at November, some of you could be starting a new job, changing careers, and this is going to be good. A lot of you could be settling. You could have started a new job in the month of September, and you're settling in the month of October, so this looks very good. A lot of you, um, a, um, a Sagittarian and a Virgo is going to be helping a lot of you to settle in, and this is going to be wonderful. So a Sagittarian and a Virgo could be offering you some uh, high profession, high position jobs. Take it. Management, uh, offer of management position um, or supervisory push it, position could be coming in in the month of November. Take it. I see a lot of you are going to be taking it and running with it. In the month of December, a woman is leaving a cancer woman. Um, they're going to be... I'm firing a cancer woman because now they recognize that this cancer woman was a part of the 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 bad apple team and they got rid of the rest of the small bad apple and they're going for the big boss now and they're going to be firing a cancer woman in the month of December and you're going to be recognizing that this cancer woman was the one that was blocking you from moving forward in the corporation institution. Wow, what a reading. So um, this year is going to be a year where the the blocks and the obstacles that was placed is going to be lifted up and an older person is going to be helping you to accumulate what it is that you want to have in life. And this is going to be good. I do love you. I got to go. But the extended of the readings are um, here on the other side. If you want to see the extended of the reading, follow us to the other side by joining and using the third subscription. You will receive the ending of these readings. Namaste until next time.